Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today, uh, we are going to be covering armor stands. That's right. Those good and magical wooden entities that hold our armor for us because we don't want to carry it around everywhere and we want to make our houses look fancy. Those ones. So, well, first off, if you haven't already, make sure to hop on over to my Discord if you got any kind of questions or you want to check out any of the content that I'm producing almost daily. Uh, there's always a lot going on in there. Uh, community support is always super active. I keep all my stuff like uh, my mythic tutorials pack, which is going to include this and my other tutorials. Uh, a lot of my boss content is included in there. Actually, all of it is. Uh, I also have a server that I'm developing now, which is, uh, you know, I hope to make it pretty cool so you guys can kind of get a taste of what all mythic mobs can do as well as, you know, some of my examples in there. But that's beyond the point. Make sure to just go ahead and jump on in and check it out for yourself. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. So, realistically, there's five really important things you need to know about armor stands. The first one you need to know about is the armor stands options. Now, there's a ton, but I'm going to go ahead and cover the ones that are used uh, more often than not, which includes marker, gravity, and, well, I'll remember the rest as we go. So, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is have your own armor stands or boss or mob, whatever, file. So here we're going to go ahead and make a new armor stand and we're going to call this one Tesla. There is a reason I'm naming it that, just don't worry about it. So next, what we're going to do, type armor underscore stand. Okay, so far so good. Because it's an armor stand, we don't need any fancy display, health, or damage. All we need are options. Pretty, uh, pretty snazzy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and type out all the options here, or at least all of the important ones, so that way you guys can kind of see what's going on. Okay, now that I've got it all typed out, I'm gonna go ahead and explain each individual one, and a couple of them that will kind of take the place of others, and you, you know, ones that you won't really need if you... You know what, let's just go on and talk about it. So, the first one is Invincible. This is a um, an option that applies to every mob in the game, including armor stands, which pretty much means it cannot be broken and, or it cannot be killed. So, of course, it's up to you whether or not you want it to be true or false. In most instances, um, I recommend always putting it to true because a lot of the times when you have armor stands, you don't really want players to break them, especially because if they're used in a mob ability, it just kind of makes the ability to stop. So I uh, highly recommend always setting this to true. Next is Interactable. Now this one is also a big one that you almost always want to have. By default, it's set to true, but as a general rule of thumb, you're always going to want to set it to false. This is because if it's set to true, players will be able to take equipment uh, will be able to take or give equipment to the armor stand and you know you really don't want that because you don't want players to lose their stuff especially if the armor stand gets removed or gets broken uh, or whatever the case players will lose their stuff so another rule of thumb always make sure this is set to false a lot of the time you don't really have to worry about these two because a lot of your abilities will um your armor stands will be invisible so uh, for the sake of this tutorial though, I'm gonna go ahead and put this to true. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the base plate actually. So base plate and arms, those are pretty self-explanatory. Let me go ahead and get an armor stand here. So base plate is that stone looking thing. And arms, let me go ahead and do this here. Uh, I don't have the plugin in installed on this server. Never mind. Okay, so arms are pretty much just little stick arms that stick out. Uh, off from it. You'll be able to see it in a moment. Actually, let me just go ahead and save, reload, on Tesla. Okay, so as you can see, that's what the arms look like. And as you can see, the armor stand looks pretty jank. We'll be, uh, we'll cover that shortly. We'll get to that right now. We're just not going to worry about it. But as you can see, I turned off the base plate and I can't break it because we turned on in, uh, Invincible. And we also turned off Interactable. So if I give myself like Oh, I don't know. Um, a sword or a helmet. As you can see, it's not taking either of them. If we had interactable either not typed out or set to true, it would have taken both. 
So far, so good. Next is Has Gravity. Now this one, I highly, highly recommend always, always setting to false. There are some instances where if like a mob spawns an AoE effect and it spawns up in the air and you want it to be on the ground, then it's okay to have it set to true. But in most instances, you want it to be set to false. So let me go and reload and show you what that'll look like. So if we come up here, spawn Tesla, if I break that block out from underneath it, nothing. It just floats there, which is perfect. Because if we spawn a normal armor stand, as you can see, it just... So, you know, not really, um, yeah, not really worthwhile. So it's almost always good to have this set to false. Uh, and again, there are some instances where it won't be the case, especially if like a player jumps and it gets spawned. It would look kind of weird for the armor stand ability to be in the air. So that's one case where you want gravity set to true. But uh, again, in most instances, you just, you want it set to false. So now then, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next ones. Invisible. This one, always, always, always set to false until you are done with whatever abilities you're giving it. Because half the time, if you misconfigure an ability, you don't know if it's going to work if you can't even see the armor stand. So like after we set up our ability that we're going to be working on at the end of this tutorial, we will turn this to, uh, we'll turn this to true. So with that being said, what I'm going to show you next is one called small. That's pretty self-explanatory, yeah? So if we set small to true and reload here, let's spawn them back in. Look at that. Ah, oh, isn't that adorable? <laughs> it's so, it's so tiny. And I'm going to show you guys a huge example of why that's important, actually. So, let's set this back to false real quick. We're going to reload. I'm going to spawn in my dummy mob now. This is not a mob you will have by default, so do not ask me if this is a thing in Mythic Mobs. I set this up myself, so that way I could have them here whenever I need them. So... Uh, let's go and spawn in Tesla. As you can see, I cannot damage my dummy if this armor stand is like right in my face. That's that's an issue. And somehow I managed to break the block behind both of them. But if we set it to small, or wait, sorry, small equals true. If we set it to small, we can hit over it no problem. This is kind of a huge deal if you have AOE abilities by armor stands. Um, or like, I don't know, an armor stand stuns you whenever the mob spawns it and you get stuck. You don't want to end up stuck like this where you can't damage the boss. You want to make it small so that way you can still attack your boss whether or not you're crouched. So I highly recommend always using small, but that's entirely up to you, especially if you're using these for decoration purposes rather than, um, you know, combat purposes. So next we have the item slots. Now, in most instances, you would have something like equipment, you know, uh, diamond helmet four for head. That would generally work. However, armor stands do not apply equipment the same way. Instead, you need to have these options. Head, body, hand, legs, and feet. You don't need hand, that's entirely up to you. Actually, all of this is entirely up to you. If you're using an armor stand that's going to be invisible, uh, I highly recommend just not even adding any of those to begin with. It's entirely unnecessary. Um, well, I guess the head could be useful if you're using it as like a prop or something. Uh, Cause like the head will still show, actually any of the armor will still show if it's set to invisible, but you won't see what's holding it all together, which could be cool for like floating entities, but it's weird otherwise. So, but one thing I wanna go and cover too is your items have to be mythic items, which means you need to make an items file inside your items folder uh, in order to apply it to your mod. Cause if I do like, Diamond helmet. Go ahead and save. We're going to delete equipment because it's not necessary. So if I save and reload and then M spawn Tesla, as you can see, there's no diamond helmet, even though we just put it there. So what we can do is do um, Tesla hat, I guess. 
Then we're gonna go into our items folder. Tesla, Tesla hat, ID, diamond, help. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save. Make sure you're saved here too, and make sure this is spelled exactly the same as in your items file. Yep, so far so good. And we're gonna reload. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it has an oversized helmet for its tiny little head. But it did work. So, now that we got the equipment out of the way, that's actually, you're gonna do the same thing for everything you put on it. The chest, the legs, the feet, and the hand. So, since we got that working, I'm just gonna go ahead and comment all of this, excuse me, out. And one thing I want to let you know, there is no item offhand. You can only apply items to the right hand of the mob. Uh, I don't know if that'll be changed in the future or not, but currently, right now, you can only apply it to the main hand. So the last thing I want to cover as far as, um, as far as like the main things go of the armor stand is the pose. Pose will be its own separate thing, kind of like how options are. You see how options has two spaces, and then each individual option has four. Well, pose is the same way. Two spaces, but then everything else is going to be different. We're going to have a few different things. We're going to have head, body, legs, actually right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg. Now, by default, if you don't want it looking all sorts of funky like this or like, you know, like that or like this whenever you spawn it in, uh, you just set them all to zero and I will show you how. You'll just, you, you need your X value comma Y value comma Z value. That's going to be how it is for every single option here. So do not ask me if you do anything different because you do not whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and reload now. As we spawn it in, as you can see, now it's standing at attention perfectly straight, Un like unlike this one and literally every other one we spawned in. So now, we now you can play around with the values. After you set it to zero, um, you know, feel free to experiment with it from there. Uh, I can't. I'm not going to tell you how to do specific things with it, but just change these number values, and you will literally get it right to where you want it to be. So after that, um, <clears throat> uh, the la one other thing I want to cover with this is you can set something like, I believe, two values in these. So like 0 to 85, I believe. So if it works right. Yeah, okay. So you can use two values and you can see it just randomly changes. Like the position is different every single time. And you can do this with any set of number values. The X value, the Y value, the Z value. And you can make this second number any number you want. It doesn't matter, it's entirely up to you. But we're gonna go ahead and set it, actually we're gonna leave it there. The last thing I wanna cover with armor stands are abilities and why they can look a lot better. So as you know with mobs, uh, they can use abilities on their own and they can use an area of effects on their own, but armor stands can too. So let's go ahead and set up some skills here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a thing where it's like potion type equals slow level equals two, duration equals 40, I guess. Force equals true. Okay, so we have a thing set. I totally forgot this needs to be all caps. Now what we're going to do, we're going to set it to at players and radius are equals three. And we're going to set up a couple different things so that way we can uh, kind of tell that it's working. So next we're going to have damage, damage, amount equals, uh, we'll do amount equals two, prevent knockback equals true. If you guys haven't seen my damage tutorial, I highly recommend checking that out. Link will be in the description as well as at the uh, end of this video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, yeah, lots to learn, lots of new things you can try. Last but not least, we're gonna add a cool effect to it. So effect particles, particle equals crit. That's not an equal sign, that's an equal sign. Equals crit, 
amount equals one. Actually, hold on, I wanna change this. Particle line, there we go. Amount equals one at players and radius. And now we need to add our triggers, which I forgot about. On timer five, we're gonna, we're gonna copy that and we're gonna throw that over to particle line as well. And then damage. Actually, we're gonna keep them all that way. So now, that's gonna be a static field, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be scary to walk into. So we're gonna reload. Of course, you can throw all of these into like one skill, meta skill, but for right now, I just set it up for quick use. Uh, I'm gonna clear and I'm gonna go into survival. Ouch, yeah. <laughs> Shocking, huh? That hurts. So as you can see, you can have mobs make their own, or use their own skills, and they make for really good area of effect abilities. So I highly recommend using them uh, as placeholders, because with normal mobs, you cannot walk through them. I need to kill them or I'm gonna die here. So, spawn new dummy. So like, say we were using a mob instead of an armor stand, as you can see, yeah, we can walk through it, but he kind of shoves us back if we stop. And that's a problem. So hi I highly, highly recommend using armor stands in order to keep things clean, um, you know, and consistent. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. It's a pretty lengthy tutorial, but there's a lot to do with armor stands and a lot you can do. So, you know, experiment around, come up with some pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah, don't be shy with armor stands and using them as mob placeholders for new abilities. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, subscribe. And I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.